The idea is to create a streetcar network to move people and connect points of interest in the greater downtown area. For years, GRTC has operated the fleet of rubber wheel trolleys, and tourists like Roanoke resident Vicki Browning tend to like it. Would you feel comfortable riding that new trolley on your subsequent visits to Richmond? Oh, that'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Not too long ago, a huge streetcar system operated in Richmond and connected surrounding areas. More than 100 miles of track and 100 cars among the inventory. See, back in 1888, Richmond became the site of the first successful streetcar system in the world. Some of the models would have looked like this Bernie car on display at the Valentine Museum, Riverside. Their goal was to have a car line or a bus line within four blocks of everybody in the city of Richmond. McKinney has written a book about the streetcar's heyday in Richmond. He says a new system sounds interesting. Charles Peters, the director of community development, says a future trolley must be functional and possibly generate tourism, too. What we're talking about is something that would move people around the downtown area uh, to get them from the riverfront to the biomedical research park, uh, from West Franklin Street to MCV. Already, the current trolley route is convenient for an increasing number of people, like downtown worker Oliver Jones. Why do you ride this thing every day? Well, I work in the downtown area, and it's easier access to, uh, to home than a bus. Here in a GRTC garage sits a trolley very similar to the ones that used to run on the rails here in Richmond. It may yet have a chance to run again. Among the three things the feasibility study will answer, how many people are expected to ride the trolley each day, how much money it would cost to start the system and maintain it, and how much revenue it might generate. In Richmond, Michael Ford, WTVR News Channel 6.